Sequencing is used when your class has read a story. It uses a chart to help review the story by determining the main events of the story and putting the events in order. As an example, we will use the story, The Tortoise and the Hare. The hare bragged that he was the fastest animal around. The tortoise challenged him to a race. The hare laughed, but he accepted. When the race began, the hare quickly sped out of sight. Then, being sure he would win, he took a nap. The tortoise slowly plodded along. When the hare woke up, he saw the tortoise crossing the finish line ahead of him. So we see that slow and steady wins the race. Now let us see how sequencing can be used to review this story. Let's begin. Start by drawing a large poster-sized chart with three boxes and label the boxes beginning, middle, and end. Write the story title at the top. Ask the students what happened in the beginning of the story and write their answer in the box labeled beginning. The hare makes fun of the tortoise for being slow. The tortoise challenges the hare to a race. Then ask the students what happened in the middle of the story and write their answer in the middle box. The hare thinks he will win, so he takes a nap. The slow tortoise passes the hare. The hare wakes up and he's behind. Finally, ask the students what happened at the end of the story and write their answer in the last box. The hare loses the race and he stops bragging. Slow and steady wins the race. There are a few variations to this strategy that can be helpful, especially with very young students. The first variation is to start with a simpler two-box chart that just focuses on the beginning and end. These concepts are easier for young children to think about at first. Later, you can introduce the idea of the middle and use the full chart. The second variation is that the chart can be made into a fun graphic. A common image is to use a train, but feel free to use your imagination and have fun. Let's review. Sequencing helps you review a story that the students have read. It uses a chart to determine the main events of a story and put the events in order. Enjoy using sequencing with your students.